Hello everyone, I am Ghulam Abbas. I hope you guys are fine and doing great. In this video, let me show you how to install the drivers of Windows after performing a clean installation. Apparently, there are several ways and methods that you can simply use it to install the drivers. Well, first, let's get introduced with the basic methods. The first method is after you install the uh, Windows 11 or Windows 10, just open the settings of your computer and then go to the Windows update and click on check for updates. Windows is automatically going to detect which drivers are missing from your computer and then it is going to download and install them inside your computer. Okay, this is the simple method. However, there are still times that the Windows update is not going to download every driver that your computer needed. For instance, this time that when I tried to install the drivers of this computer using the Windows update, I faced the Dolby Access error. Uh, sorry, the Dolby Access driver was not installed. Even I tried several other methods, it did not resolve the issue. So there was only two solutions for me. Okay, the first solution was to use the device manager if I have to right click on the store menu and then open the device manager from here. From there, I will have to simply find the audio devices. So here you can see these, are, these are basically the audio. Now if I have to update it, I have to, I'm, I have to right click on it and choose update driver choose search for automatically drivers it's going to search and then after that it is going to download the driver okay unfortunately most of the time it used to be helpful but in this case it was not helpful at all so what was the final and the best solution that i had to use in the past i was using the driver pick solution it was let me i have show you what is exactly this driver pick solution thing driver pick solution now it is a website which is providing uh, almost drivers of every computer that it needs basically it is an automatic you can say well aside from that i also noticed that using the driver pick solution unfortunately unfortunately it's going to also going to install unnecessary application inside your computer too which is not quite cool enough so i figured that why i should not use the official uh, manufacturers computer website you see every computer that you are using they have uh, a specific section into their website which is for the drivers for instance my computer's manufacturer is Lenovo if I have to search for Lenovo drivers it's going to appear they are the official website of Lenovo for sorry Lenovo Lenovo drivers you will notice that a separate section they have created support.lenovo.com it is a subdomain you will notice that it has a separate category where you can use it to detect the uh, product of your computer detect the serial key or basically the product or whatever your computer is then once it detected everything you will notice that there is go to the driver and software section and then from here you have to click on start scan you have to wait a while and it is automatically going to scan which drivers are missing from your computer once it found out then you have then it's going to basically automatically download those drivers just like the windows update but instead it, is, it will be using the lenovo's software it will be using the lenovo software Okay, it's going to take a while. In the meantime, that is going to done itself. Uh, let me tell you that it's going to. In the meantime, that is going to scan. Let me tell you that if you are using another computer, for instance, HP, Dell, or any other computer, you want to install the drivers. Then you have to simply type HP drivers or Dell driver or any other manufacturer that you are you are using. Now, each of these website has similar interface, similar application, and uh, the same thing that I just did with this computer you'll notice that if you click on the laptop there is let HP detect your product you have to download and install their application and then it is it is automatically going to scan for the missing drivers after that one it's going to install it on site inside your computer you will notice that the same uh, feature has been applied here you'll notice that you, if you have the serial key of your computer you have to just simply type or download and install the support assistant which is automatically going to identify your pc 
and then scan the drivers and then it will install those drivers inside your computer so for the moment you will notice that no drivers are found uh, to update because i have already installed them so in case all the drivers of a computer has been installed except maybe the graphic cards driver is missing from your computer maybe the uh, dolby access drivers or the network adapter or anything else for that you have to basically install or look for the manual update this way you can download those drivers manually and install them inside your computer manually it means you don't have to use the windows update or the software update of these manufacturers to update the drivers of a computer so i hope you got the idea what do i mean by installing the drivers of your computer so i hope you have learned this technique and method and let me know your thoughts and i will meet you guys in the next video have a nice day goodbye and take care